Hey, what's going on guys? Dope Swatter here, and in today's video, we are going to talk about the pros and cons of having a open 3D printer versus having an enclosed 3D printer like the one I have where everything is inside of like a box frame or some kind of a frame um, where basically everything's not exposed. Um, so I personally only had an enclosed 3D printer, and I've had this printer for a little over a year, and it has given me time to kind of... Um, put together my thoughts on what I like about having an enclosed 3D printer and the things I don't like about having an enclosed 3D printer. So let's get into it. So for starters, first and foremost, the best thing in my opinion about having an enclosed 3D printer is the quietness of it. Granted, anybody can tell you that 3D printing is not a quiet thing in general. I mean, it makes a lot of noise. Um, it took me a long time to get used to, especially since I have it in my bedroom and my room is so small. It was kind of difficult to sleep with the damn thing running all night long for a while. Uh, but now I can sleep through pretty much anything. But that is the nice thing is that definitely um, if I put the front little plate on this thing, it muffles out a decent amount of the sound in comparison to when like I had this thing torn apart and there was nothing on the sides or the back or the top or like that and the sound was just able to travel out of it. Another nice thing about having an enclosed 3D printer is that it just looks nice. If you guys were to see the wiring I have in the back of this printer right here, it definitely is not appealing looking. I mean, I did my best to kind of organize things as much as possible, but there's definitely wires going this way, that way, and every other way. And basically, once I made sure everything was working and kind of going in the right direction, I was able to shove it in the back of the printer, close it up, and kind of out of sight, out of mind. Versus if you have it out in the open, it's something you got to stare at, and I feel like you've got to be a little bit more careful. Um, also, in terms of not hitting on anything, pinching on anything, dragging it, pulling it, just having things hidden away definitely protects it and makes it look a lot cleaner. So that's definitely another plus. Now, for me, there's a couple things that I don't like about enclosed 3D printer. Um, one is when you need to repair, work on, or upgrade something. It is a lot more work to one, have to take everything off all the shelves, all the clips, all the screws, and two, just to get your hand in and around and see things at certain angles to be able to access and basically upgrade, repair, or do anything you need to. It definitely makes it a little bit more difficult when you've got um, the shell and everything just so tightly enclosed. And this isn't even that compacted of a 3D printer. I mean, there's definitely some space in there on both sides, but in my opinion, it's still definitely not as easy um, to mess with compared to when I had this thing up and open. Another thing is in terms of monitoring or recording your prints or even getting footage of the 3D printer, um, I have to basically have my DSLR and a tripod all the way up in the window right here. And I also have a webcam mounted in here, but it doesn't get very good shots because of the tight angle it's in. So I can only get very limited um, shots and very limited uh, basically videos. So with an open printer like uh, one that I will talk about in the near future, you can basically either have an, a webcam attachment that gives you the perfect angle um, and again it just makes it a lot easier to see um, and make sure that things are running accordingly because you've got different angles and again it's just easier to see what's going on with the printer. I can't say that one is better than the other. I think it really just comes down to what it is that you are looking for whether you want a quiet um, you know kind of hidden part printer or whether you like me kind of like to be monitoring and taking photos of and checking things constantly so it really just depends on what it is you're going for either way not really one outweighing the other one heavily in my opinion at least let me know in the comments down below what you guys think and if you guys can think of any other pros and cons for either side I'd be definitely curious to know what you guys think uh, which one's better and if I missed out on anything at all uh, anyways guys I hope you enjoyed the video dope swanner and I will see you in the next video I'm out peace guys